Hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations. Today is a tea haul. Um, I've gotten some new teas. They're in here. So I thought I would show you what I've got. I'm not an affiliate for any of the teas I'm going to talk about. Um, they're just some ones that I have found that I enjoy and thought I would share them with you. So, because a lot of us are tea drinkers, because I like to knit and crochet and drink my tea, which my tea cup, this is a 40 ounce cup, and I'll go through at least one of them a day. So, uh, and we're talking hot tea here. So the first one I have, so the first one I have is one my daughter gave me. Uh, she gave me one last year that was a different flavor than this. This is from Harney and Sons, I believe. Yes, Harney and Sons. She orders from them a lot. Uh, this is called Hot Cinnamon Sunset. Um, it is a black tea with warming spices. Um, they, they come in these really cute tins, as you can see. Really pretty little tin. The one she gave me last year, <clears throat> I still have the tin too. And it was actually like a rose gold and pastel colors. Um, so yeah, it's inside. It smells unbelievably like cinnamon. They are like sachets. So this one is a little on the spicy side, I will warn you. So um, yeah, I water it down quite a bit because it is really a strong tea. Um, I could probably use one of these for this entire mug uh, because it does tend to be a little strong, but it is very good. But the cinnamon, when it says hot, it, it, is, it is spicy hot, so you do want to be careful with that one. But they have lots to choose from. So this is Harney and Sons. Then I found an English tea company here in the US, and it's actually called the English Tea Company. And I had P&G tips years ago. I found it just at a random grocery store and it was like discounted. It was a scratch and dent place and I got it. And I really liked them. Um, I liked the tea bags, but then I couldn't find them anywhere. And I found these at the tea store. And there's 80 tea bags per box. They just look like this. They don't have tags or anything. That's actually what I am drinking today. Um, now for something this large, I actually put two tea bags in there because like I said, this is 40 ounces um, and it is plenty strong. So uh, it is a black tea because I don't like green tea. I've told you all that before. To me, it tastes like something you've strained through grass clippings. So yeah, so I don't tend to um, drink green tea. I like black tea. So anyway, we have that. And then I bought, while I was at the English Tea Company, they also had loose tea of the P&G tips. Um, so there is 80, it says 80 lovely cups of loose tea, signature taste. So when I make a big thing like this, I probably use about two teaspoons, two to three teaspoons of loose tea um, to make that. And I bought two, ah, two boxes of loose tea. Um, and this is just, just plain black tea, but it does have a really good flavor to it. Kind of reminds me of an English breakfast tea. So those I got from the English Tea Company. Then I placed some more orders with uh, Simpson and Vale, which is a Connecticut company. Um, next time we go up to New England, I think I want to stop in the store itself because apparently you can shop there as well. So I tried some different teas from what I got last time with the exception of one because one of them is my absolute favorite. Uh, the first thing I got was coconut black tea. And this is good. I do wish it had a stronger coconut flavor. Um, you can taste it, but I like it really strong coconut taste. Um, so I might be able to like if I added a little coconut seasoning or something, I don't know. Um, it is good. I just wish it was a little bit stronger. And I actually have two of them because I bought a total of eight ounces so the two four ounce packages is how they sent it to me. So I had that. And then this is one I had from my last order with Simpson and Vale and that is Cylon Small Leaf Black Tea. Again, it's just a plain black tea. 
but I do like the flavor. In fact, the flavor of this reminds me of this. Um, yeah, it's good and um, has a good flavor to it. So I have some of this left, probably about two ounces of it left. Then I tried Assam Black Indian Tea. So I tried this one. And again, I thought these tasted similar. I noticed a little bit of difference in flavor, but I like different, I like to try different, just plain teas. I find a lot of times I'm, I'm not as crazy about the seasoned or herbal teas and things like that with flavoring in them. Um, I just like a good cup of black tea. But anyway, um, yeah, so we have that. That one's good. Then I tried, this is French vanilla black tea. And this was quite tasty. I enjoyed this. Um, had kind of a smoky flavor to it with some vanilla undertones. Yeah, so it's French vanilla black tea. And I just got a small package of this. Um, this is just two ounces because I thought I would try it before I ordered more. So, yeah, I kind of sample different ones. So when I put an order in, I kind of get to know what I like and what I don't like. And then there's my favorite one. And this one I bought eight ounces of. So I have two four ounce. And that is the Maya Angelou Black Tea Blend. There it is. I'll tell you what it says about it, what the ingredients are. It has black teas from, from China and Sri Lanka, hibiscus flower, orange peel, cloves, orange blossoms, natural pineapple flavor, vanilla flavor, and orange spice flavor. To me, I don't taste pineapple. I don't taste orange. It almost, to me, tastes like eggnog. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really, really good. Um, yeah, this is, it's like more of a dessert tea because it is a sweeter tea, but yeah, I really like this one. This was my favorite out of all of them. So um, yeah, I bought eight ounces, so I won't run out anytime soon. So those are the teas that I am currently enjoying. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite tea? Um, to give me some ideas of some other places to try out. So let me know what your favorite tea is and what the company is or a little bit about it. So appreciate all your input. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again later. Bye everybody.